Turning now to Commitment 2018, polls are now less than one hour from closing. Yeah, there are a handful of high stakes runoffs, but the Secretary of State is saying turnout has been low. A lot of eyes around the nation on Alabama's second congressional seat, and statewide attention is also focused on the Lieutenant Governor race and Attorney General runoff. We have team coverage tonight on the Attorney General's race. We'll begin with WVTM 13's Marley Martinez. She's following Steve Marshall down in Montgomery. Yeah, Marley, this has been a long and personal campaign for Marshall. Absolutely. Tonight we're at Moe's Barbecue in Montgomery where Steve Marshall will be holding his election night party. But less than a month ago, we were in his hometown for a news conference because his wife had committed suicide during that very emotional news conference. Marshall says his wife Bridget killed herself after a long battle with mental illness. He said she also struggled with being in the limelight and opioid addiction. That's why he's made it a personal mission to fight the opioid epidemic as part of the state's opioid council. Marshall has been attorney general since February last year. That's when Governor Robert Bentley appointed him to fill Luther Strange's seat when Bentley appointed Strange to U.S. Senate. Before AG, Marshall was a DA of Marshall County for 15 and a half years. His campaign spokeswoman tells me that he is feeling confident going into tonight and this is something that his wife would have wanted. Live in Montgomery, Marley Martinez, WVTM 13. Well, WVTM 13's Jeff Eliasoff is also in Montgomery with the Troy King camp. Yeah, Jeff has tried, uh, King has tried to pull out all the stops during this heated race. Absolutely, indeed, this is a fight to the finish in this, the final hour of voting in the Republican runoff for the state's attorney general. I'm at the Renaissance Hotel here in Montgomery, where Troy King hopes to have a victory party before the night is over. Now, he finished second to opponent Steve Marshall by less than one half of one percent in the June 5th primary. King voted earlier in the day and has stepped up the attacks on incumbent Steve Marshall in recent days, accusing him of taking illegal donations in a lawsuit that was thrown out. King, a former attorney general himself for six years, says Marshall is not a true Republican, but a Democrat who switched parties in 2011 just to enjoy a better chance of winning elections. King says he has the support of President Trump's trusted advisor, Roger Stone, Perry Hooper Jr., who ran the Alabama Trump campaign in 2016, and unsuccessful Senate candidate Roy Moore. The polls close at the top of the hour. The winner gets the right to face Democrat Joseph Siegelman in the November 6th general election that will be here before we know it. We'll be here to count all the votes until this race is decided. Live in Montgomery, Jeff Eliasoff, WVTM 13. Another race we are following tonight is the GOP race for Lieutenant Governor. Public Service Commission President Twinkle Cavanaugh faces State Representative Will Ainsworth. The office has been vacant since Kay Ivey was appointed as governor. And the race between Congresswoman Martha Roby and former Congressman Bobby Bright is gaining national attention. Bright is challenging Roby in the Republican runoff in Alabama's 2nd Congressional District. Roby's facing a backlash because she withdrew her endorsement of President Trump back in 2016. That's after the release of a tape in which he made crude comments about women. The president, though, has endorsed her in this election. We'll have continuing coverage of tonight's runoff on air and on the WVTM 13 mobile app. Just click the left menu, select News, and then select Politics.